So I'm editing right now, and um, I realized I never really had a good intro, so this is it. Um, hi guys, um, I'm continuing reading The Toll. Um, yeah, this isn't going to be as long as a vi of a video, but I hope you still like it. Um, it's part two, and the final part. So, I read again today, um, it might look like I have makeup on, cause I probably do still from play. So, yeah, um, what happened? Um, the tuna tonist people, um, attacked Scythe Anastasia and that gang, um, so, her and Jericho are the only ones surviving. Um, Jericho's not really surviving because Jericho killed themselves so that the droid would come get them because Anastasia couldn't. Um, God, what else happened? Um, um, Taunus... Basically, the way to describe what I read today is, Tonis do bad shit. Yeah. So I guess I should probably do an intro as well. Um, this is part two of um, <laughs> of reading the toll. Um, so yeah. Um, How do I describe it so far? Taunists are causing the world to go to hell in a handbasket. You go, Taunists. This video is really bad because I'm exhausted. I was at school for 12 hours um, and I'm not paying attention. And so, yeah. Um, God damn you, Taunists. Huh. <sighs> So, it's 8 o'clock at night, um, and I just got home from school. I've been at school for 12 hours. Yeah. And I have marker on me. Just trying to ignore it. It's for my play. Um, haven't taken my shoes off or anything, but I finished the book at school so I wanted to talk to you guys about it and I realized this video is not going to be as long as the other one because oh my god that was long for me could just be a normal per another a different person's normal video <sighs> but anyway um I finished it and I have no idea where to start. So when the Thunderhead started collecting bodies, well, I think I should just start with my expectations. Um, Faradad kind of played an important role. Um, Jericho did not end up with Sydney. We barely saw Sydney. Oh my god, my ear's so red. Oh well. Um, I believe they end up with Grayson. Yeah. Um, oh my god. Um, I'm just gonna cover it. There we go. So, what else? Um, the Thunderhead was not evil um yeah those were the big ones um so i don't know where i left off but i'm just gonna start um rowan survived his gleaning um he goldard had captured him and was like oh i'm gonna gleam you in front of a whole spectacle of people because eh, i'm a bitch um, god, my teeth. Uh, I just drew all your attention to it, so yay. Um, 
but he survives it. He, the Texas uh, sides rescue him. And Gul'dad throws a hissy fit and like, like, glean all the people here. Glean them all. Oh my god. I still have makeup on. Well then. But yeah, he's like, glean all the people in the stadium. They wanted to enjoy the death. Only scythes can enjoy the death. So he had a whole hissy fit. Um, let's see. Um, Anastasia. Oh, um, the... I'm covering my ear. Cause the um, Anastasia and Jericho um, made it out okay. Um, well, Jericho died, but came back to life because they were only deadish. Um, let's see, what else? Um, they um, went looking... They found the street artist from earlier on, uh, the Sydney's group, and he had just purchased a ticket, i.e. the Thunder had planted a ticket on him, because as it has stated multiple times, like, I think a hundred thousand times in this book, it cannot, af like, it cannot, like, in like, affect scythe affairs, <laughs> but... It can sure as hell work its way around to end up in, like, basically just mucking him up. So, um, Anastasia and, um, Jericho, um, reunite, well, discover who the toll is. And the toll is Grayson. And... I don't know if I just wasn't paying attention when I read it, but Jericho's the one that Anastasia drove over. I read it like four years ago. I skipped part most of it. Um, so I completely forgot about that. So yeah. Um, him and Jericho hit it off right away. But all Madagascars, Madagascar, Madagascan? I have no idea. Madagascar people, people from Madagascar are supposedly very flirty and um, charming. Um, the advisor dude for Grayson um, leaves him because he got kicked out. Um, and um, yeah. Um, he decides to side with Guldard, which we will get into later because I have about 4,000 things to say about him. Um, when the Thunderhead started collecting bodies, for some reason I thought, oh, they're gonna make a zombie army to fight the Scythes. Like, mindless slaves, but no, um... <laughs> Turns out what um, the Nimbus agents were building were rockets. And so Rowan, um, one of, oh, I should probably say um, the Thunderhead took over Jerry's body. Um, for like a second so it could experience life. Because what I didn't realize was um, this whole book... Um, like, these, this part, this is all the Cy, uh, this is all the Thunderhead talking to Cypress, Citrus, names, names are hard, um, basically the human form of himself, um, so one of them saves Rowan and shoves him, tells him to gather stuff, here's a thermal jacket, and I'm sending you in a container with a bunch of fucking dead people for about four days. Good luck. Um, but yeah, so then um, Anastasia gets um, the report from, um, what's his name? That Scythe who's, I don't like, he's a snob. I don't know how else to describe him. Um, yeah, um... 
Guldard has been evil all his life. But we're not getting into that yet. Um, let's see. Um, Anastasia um, reunites with Faraday on the Galapagos. Um, but also reunites with Rowan there too, so everyone's at this Galapagos. But the Dock Master, like, gave up their location, put a tracker on them. So now Guldard knows where they are too. Um, yeah. <sighs> So I put off talking about Guldard for as long as possible, so... But I can't finish the book without talking about him, so... Whoop-dee-doo, um... Uh, he, um... When Grayson's, uh, marketing dude, um... <laughs> don't care about his name um when his marketing dude um comes to guldard um he's like so the um the group that murdered all the scythes in sub-sahara i think I, I, I don't know i mean i have the book right here but I'm too lazy to look at it because I'm exhausted. Um, he's like, hey, you got people that support you there now. So how about this? I get groups to go murder all the scythes in that area. And you take us off the, and you put us on the um, guarded people's list. So we can't be mass gleamed as much. And he's like, okay. I won't be able to stop them completely, but I will slowly dim them down. So, yeah. Um, and then um, he gets word that um, Anastasia and Rowan are on the island. I don't know how he knows Rowan's there. I don't think it's ever explicitly said, but um, he learns that. Rowan's there too, and he's just like, fuck yeah, I'm just gonna murder everyone. So he gathers a bunch of scythes and jet planes with rockets on them and decides, we're just gonna follow these coordinates and blow shit up. Um, so Faradad and um, Anastasia, who now isn't Scythe Anastasia, but I'm not calling her <laughs> her real name because Citra? Citra? I have no idea. Um, Anna, let's just call her Anna for now, um, opened the um, secure uh, vault thing that the Scythe people left behind. Um, and um, it's a massive tuning fork. So, yay, Tonists! Um, but one of the founding scythes was Da Vinci, so... I know re last time I said, I don't get how Da Vinci's, like, there but not, because... But it's just a founding scythe. Um, oh, I should also mention Scythe Morrison. I'm just going completely off track. Um, I... He sides with Grayson the whole time. Um, he doesn't turn against him, which whew, I was gonna say. Um, but yeah, and um, it's later revealed that, um, this is like ending of the book, but I'm talking about it now, so let's just go to it. Um, that it has, I think, seven or ten, like, diseases, so like bubonic plague, smallpox, um, heart attack, um, um, a bunch of other bad stuff that people died from, and everyone on the planet has it. 
But every, I think it's decade or so. I don't know. Um, 25 years? Century? I don't know. But uh, a fifth of the population gets it. And so, um, yeah, I'll go back to that with the effects on the world. But so, um, the dead bodies aren't going to be used to become zombies. Um, they, the Thunderhead has made many clones of himself and he's putting them and dead bodies in the rocket that are going to Earth-like planets that are like millions and billions of light years away and um he's um because dead bodies are easier to transfer than live bodies because dead bodies just need to be cold live bodies oof um but yeah he once they revive they're they're gonna be supplanted with memories like a different person so they're not tonists um but the girl tonist, one of the main characters, Astrid. I don't know. Um, she's like, but why? And so, um, she gets on a rocket. Um, well, they they learn that Guldard is coming, and so they're like, fuck, we need to get everyone on those rockets now. Um, so, um, Astrid, um, goes on one, and she's like, we're gonna make new Tonus, we're gonna have a Tonus society, and turns out she's the only one on that rocket except the corpse. But she and the Citrus are like, we will keep this going. I will keep you happy. I will I will be there for you until we get there, and then you'll have other people to talk with. Um, and so everyone's rushing to them um, in peer- in- um, Jerry is on the ship and there's a bunch of animals there and she's just like, fuck this, I'm not hanging out here. She lets the ship go so all the animals on the island could get a safe distance, distance away. Thank you, Thunderhead. Love you for that. Um, and then she meets Grayson and she, she's just like, what do we do? And he's like, well, goodbye. And she's like, I'm staying. And he's like, oh, I am too. So they go on a boat and they just like run as far away as they can. But they also are there to watch the launches. Um, the girl who was actually in charge of the whole operation um, lets the other dude um, stay there. Like, be in charge of it so she can go survive. And he's just like, I don't care if a bunch of scythes are going to glean me. I'm just a bitch anyway. Um, but um, Anastasia and Rowan. So Goldard is like blowing them up. They're just like, boom, that rocket's dead. Boom, that rocket's dead. Um, as they're launching up. And um, he sees Anastasia's cloak. And um, so Anastasia had been hit by burning um debris from one of the exploded rockets and he's just like found you bitches i'm gonna kill your rocket um so rowan ends up carrying a deadish anna to their ship and um uh scythe rad the guldard's girl is like Fuck you, Gouldard. I'm I'm not putting up with your bullshit anymore. And she just kills him. But he will be revived. So, yeah. And so, um... Rowan and the corpse get on the bot, get on the ship. And he's just like, revive her! Bring her back! And he's just like, I have been forbidden from, like reviving anyone until we have reached the planet and, he, and he, so they put Anastasia they make like her cloak into like a hammock and they put her body down with the other bodies and Rowan's like well I'm gonna go down there with her and he's down there he's like okay do I let the cold take me or do I asphyxiate and he's like down there for like an hour just trying to figure out what to do and he's just like Anastasia wouldn't want me to do this. So he returns. Um, 
And yeah, they go to a planet and they live happily ever after. Um, so, there are, oh, and also Tiger, Tyrese. There are two things I want to talk about. One is the effects on Earth. So, anyone on the rockets was not affected by this thing. Um, but the scythes under Faradad's, like, orders are, um, doing mercy gleanings. Basically, they're killing anyone who is in that awful state, just dying awfully. And they're just like, we're going to, like, mis he, like the we see him do one and, and he's, like, massaging, like, poison into his temples or something. I don't know. And, um, so... And then there's Guldard. So, I'm confused because I just figured it out. Okay. So, Guldard um, is dead. And at first I was like, well, they don't say anything about him. They, And I thought, oh, they're just leaving it open-ended so they could possibly write another book. But Tiger, Tiger, Rowan's friend, comes back. So... I realized, just now, while thinking about it, um, the Thunderhead must have, um, just implanted Tiger's memories into Gul'dad, and just been like, fuck you, Gul'dad, you're gone? Um, yeah. Also, um, Grayson, like, broke up with the Thunderhead. At least that's what I'm calling it, um, because he said- Use my body in any way you need to. He never- he didn't give the Thunderhead permission to use Jerry's body. And so, um... It's- there's a really sweet quote, and, um... Yeah, um, where is it? Um... Let's see, um... Um, I broke none of my laws. No, you broke mine. A sudden surge of emotion welled up in Grayson. Tears began to cloud his eyes, reminding him how much the thunder had met, meant, and still did, to him. But he could not let that stop him. If there was anything he'd learned from the Thunderhead, it was consequences could not be ignored. Therefore, he said through tears, I can no longer speak to you. You are unsavory to me. The, hun the Thunderhead's voice became slow, thick, mournful. I, I understand, it said. Might I ever be redeemed in your eyes, Grayson? Will humanity be redeemed in yours? He asked. In time, said the Thunderhead. Grayson nodded in agreement. In time, then. And before he could change his mind, or either of them say farewell, Grayson removed his earpiece and crushed it on the charred ground. And the thunder is just like, I'm so upset, but I understand. And so it's like, we're just going to rain for like a day or two. And then it's going to go back to normal. But it's, yeah. Um, then it goes back to normal. But yeah, um... What did I think of the ending? Well, I actually really liked the ending. Um, except for one thing. Um, I wish Guldard was tortured for a thousand years and we saw every inch of his agony. Which might still happen. But I want to see it. I want to read it. I want to witness it. God, I'm sounding like cool Dard. Oh no. Damn plane. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I wish he suffered more. Um I feel like it was a pretty good ending. Um yeah, I think the last um, chapter, uh, Year With No Name, 
was very sweet and a great way to send them off, um, Anna and Rowan. And, oh, I should probably mention that, um, Rowan convinced the Thunderhead not to, um, implant Anastasia's memories with, um, a, a worker, because he's like, this is fucking Scythe! This is a Scythe! But then the Thunder is like, no, no, she resigned, and she's, but he's like, you can never resign, so you will revive her right now! And he's like, I will not revive her, but I will not implant her with a new identity. And he's just like, I'll take it. So, yeah, is there anything I would have wanted to see? Um, I I don't think so, no. Um, other than the torment. Um, I, I don't, I don't think so. Um, I wish we... Although, I don't. I was gonna say I wish we heard more from Constance, Constantine, but I don't. He's not an important character. Um, so, yeah. Um, who's my favorite character in all of this? Um, Rowan, Anastasia, um, Jerry, um, Scythe Morrison. Those are my four. I love those guys um but Scythe Curie is above them all I'm sorry you can fight me if you want I wouldn't recommend at least that's what people tell me when I fight them um god I sound like such a moron um yeah so it's like nine now I've been talking to you guys for like an hour this isn't gonna be an hour video but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know Sarah is definitely watching this, so shout out to you. Um, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have even realized that the last book had come out. So thank you so much. Um, and the next book I am reading is... Um, Villains Will Rise, I think. It's the um, third book in the um, Nothing But Bones or Market of Monsters series. Um, so yeah, so, and yeah. Thank you so much for everything. And Sarah, I hope to see you soon um everyone else who i don't know have a good day um yeah see you guys the toll has come to its end what books will i read next who knows will i make this a series i don't know will i post more i don't know life is full of uncertainties Memento mori, my friends. Memento mori.